and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up everybody and welcome to this quick video that I'm doing on the purge of MSNBC, the fall of black network news anchors and pundits. Now, over the weekend, we found out news that Melissa Harris Perry was let go from the MSNBC roster. Yes, that's right. They cut her the fuck off. They didn't want nothing to do with Melissa Harris Perry no more. And it's been a growing pattern over there at MSNBC with the pundits disappearing, black pundits disappearing. Uh, seven years ago, MSNBC and CNN of uh, the election of Obama in 2008 and in 2007 at least, they started having a lot of black pundits, really on all the cable networks, Fox, MSNBC, and other networks. They started having a lot of different black pundits. CNN kind of started first. They had a special called Black in America where they talked about the life of African American people in the United States, different facets of life, whether it was health, uh, city, living, relationships, whatever. And you had Roland Martin on the network, and that's where he had claimed the fame, really, on CNN, even though Roland Martin was out before that point. So, as time went on, yes, Soledad O'Brien and um, Roland Martin, MSNBC being the competitors that they are, they had no identity for a long time, but they became more of a progressive liberal network. So as time went on, they started adding a lot of African-American people on the show and even giving them shows. Yeah, Eric Michael Dyson, who was filling in for certain commentators. Uh, yeah, Al Sharpton with his own show. Yeah, Melissa Harris Perry, Joyce Reed, Joy Reed, and yet yeah, other ones coming on the network. And they were providing a lot of commentary on the president, President Obama. I have to say this, basically, they were Obama cheerleaders in some ways. Um, and then they were talking about uh, Trayvon Martin. I think they even bought out Trayvon Martin. Now, there's a couple of reasons why Melissa Harris Perry and, and the rest of them were let go. Number one, the election of Obama is coming to an end this year. This is his final year in office, so his term is ending. You're going to get another president. And black people are not socially important no more. We was only important for, uh, I believe, this is just a conspiracy theory, but we were only important enough because Obama was running for president, being the first African-American president. And yet a, a big abundance of black people that was supporting him. And so now they figured that it's going back to pre-2008, like Bush years, Clinton years, and any other years, where, okay, it's a Caucasian president. And so black people are just a minority. You know, we really don't matter in this country. So that's the, the purge. And that's why they let... Well, and, it, and it started with Roland Martin, actually, a couple of years ago, when they cut him from CNN. He was the main voice of CNN. The main voice. The main pundit that they used. And immediately they got rid of Roland Martin. In which you guys can watch Roland Martin on um, TV1 or listen to his show. If you don't have um, TV1, you can listen to his radio show. But they cut to, uh, him off first. Then you had the Black Civil War with uh, Al Sharpton and Tavis Smiley and Tom Joyner at the time. So you had that war kind of going on also over, you know, attention with Obama and being on television. You had this pissing match. Now all the Negroes is getting cut off of all the channels now. They're reducing it. MSNBC also is getting rid of the black content because of the Trayvon Martin case. A lot of people forget this. They were sued, uh, NBC was sued for, uh, by uh, Zimmerman. They sued them for libel. They sued the uh, NBC company because of, of the libel suit. Now, I don't know what became of the case, but I do know that they were sued. So it's little things like that. I also seen a pattern in MSNBC and NBC was that they were phasing out a lot of liberal commentators also. So it kind of started really the purge with a lot of progressives uh, being forced out. Like they forced out, uh, like Keith Oberman years back, and then Ed Schultz. Uh, then you had Cinco from the Young Turks. So they they got rid of a lot of different uh, progressives at the time also. Then now it's the purge of blacks. They don't really need the blacks on there no more. And you had a lot of black people that was on MSNBC. A lot of black commentators and they're phasing them out. 
And this this should be alarming to people that they're telling niggas to get the fuck out of here, basically. They're telling us to, you're not important no more. You know, Obama not president. Yeah, we don't need you guys. So that's why they're phasing out a lot. Of, and that's just, this is like Jada Pickett said about the Academy Award. We need to start making our own networks. We need to start using alternative medium. We need to be on our own networks, even like TV One and Aspire and start our own news programming and commentary up. You know, well, we could whether we're Democrats or Republicans, but if we're talking about black issues, we should we should go ahead and um, talk about these things. But the purge is starting, uh, and white liberals is throwing blacks under the bus. I believe they're throwing black progressives kind of under the bus. I know they're very mad because African American people, we we don't support gay marriage, we don't support gays, uh, we support the church. Uh, black people still have some traditional values, and we don't support like Bernie Sanders and like far left radicals. And so now they have to throw us under the bus. Now it's time to throw black people under the bus because we are not backing the LBGT communities. We're not backing. Uh, certain other white uh, goofy shit so you know black people have to go so this is the the, the purge is starting when it comes to African Americans they're going to try to phase in another uh, minority group to try to back excuse me to try to bypass African American people so I thought to do this video and have this discussion uh, like and share this video and let's talk about these issues people peace